Uh, that's at stake here, folks. So we're looking at Ulsan and Kasumi. We're just gonna we're gonna get to that shortly. Yeah, thanks for hanging in there with us. We uh, are making sure that we get the match ready to go, but please hang in there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Is, is this it? Is this, is this real? it? <laughs> oh, it is real. They're going right at it. Okay. So of course we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna switch the name. That is not Uncle Ben. Yeah, that is. Pass down. That is definitely Olsan, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go and starting things off. Olsan going back to his roots. We were told before that Olsan is a Bob user. Here we go. Oh boy. Here we go, folks. And Kasimir again, another end of the second end we have right here. Markman on stage. He's been using a variety of characters, or he's known to use a variety of characters, but the Anna is really what got him into the top eight, so it's nice to see him continuing with this action. Right now, Olsan is really playing at a high pace, very fast. Oh, nice, oh. good power crush, I like it. What a call right there, and again, two in a row. Olsan, oh my gosh, and a just frame sweep here from Casimir. Definitely gonna end this with a Rage Art instead of a Rage Drive. Gonna, gonna get a little bit of a breathing room right here, just resting his hands, you know, he's gonna watch the movie. It's a long movie. It is a it's long good. movie. It's good. It's good. I like this movie. Actually, she deserves that. <laughs> you know, it's a really good ending animation of a Rage Art. And here we go. One round apiece. Starting it off right now. The team trying to beat him to the punch, but Ulsan looking for opportunities. Continuing with that pressure. And Bob, ladies and gentlemen, a very unconventional character. Speaking of unconventional, what a string that Kasimir threw out. And Ulsan was not ready for that. 43 seconds on the clock. There it is. Goes to Chaos Judgment, but Ulsan in rage. Has the follow up here. Has the rage. He went for the backswing blow. Got beat out, unable to do it. And just like that, Kasimir with the lead in rounds. Oh my gosh. And this is this is starting to get real intense here, folks. In Kinder Gym. Really child friendly, but not for these two. Oh, oh my gosh. It. It's crazy to think about it too, because you know, we've been seeing Ulsan using a lot of Kazumi, but you gotta think about it. they are, they would have to be ready for Kazumi in Pakistan. Look at, look, at, look at how confident Kasimir is, ladies and gentlemen. The bravery and the, the, the flurry of offense, if, if we could say that, my goodness. He was relentless, man. Like, there was hardly a, a disadvantage in health on the side of Kasimir. Yeah, and Ulsan is gonna stick to the same character. He's gonna pick the stage. And he's locked in with Bob. He's gonna have to win this entire set with Bob. This is loser's bracket action, so whoever loses here is out of the tournament. That is how important it is, ladies and gentlemen. Tournament life on the line. And apparently, given the choice, Olsan went to Violet System, slightly bigger than Kinder Gym in terms of the uh, basically the, the real estate. Let's see if Olsan has a plan right here against Kasimir, who looks extremely hungry to survive. He looks extremely on point as well. He's been doing such a great job of adjusting and really closing out that opening game. I think Ulsan's in trouble here. He's going to have to really make some adjustments. Really have to take control offensively as well. And interestingly enough, there's a similarity here, uh, Markman, on the style of Ulsan's Bob and his Kazumi. Just keeping kosher very, very simple. Pushing Kasimir to the wall. Look at this. Uh, you know, for the first time, what a block from Ulsan. And he's going to go for the big hits. 40 seconds left on the clock, and Olsan still looking really confident. First round goes to him. Yeah, one great thing about Olsan is he has great reflexes, able to make some adjustments here, and really play using those compact tools to his advantage. I like it. It's really hard to do it because, you know, because he's he's not taking too much risk either. Uh-oh, big that counter hit, the follow-up. And I don't think he really minds, ladies and gentlemen, that Bob is one of the characters who really did get nerfed. But don't look now. Olsan is in a bit of trouble here with his back against the wall. Kasimir still applying that pressure, but keeps a little bit of distance compared to a while ago because Olsan still brave from that last round. Oh, this is gonna and hurt. that is it. This is gonna hurt. He's gonna be dead. And again, great step there. Able to get that full string, which guarantees the follow-up there. Great round back. Tied up on rounds here in game number two. Olsan, I'm pretty sure he has a rational explanation as to why Bob is the pick here for Anna Williams. Remember that Bob does have the range, but Anna Williams, whether or not he goes for the 50-50, did not pull the trigger while well, standing 2-1. I think it's just a level of familiarity. You gotta think about it again. The pick of Kazumi is, and, and Pakistan is probably so used to Arsene Ash styling with his Kazumi, which is very similar in, in some regards. And yes, Bob being an uncanny character that you usually pick for tournaments, I believe that Olsan may be banking on that, on that. As you mentioned, the unfamiliarity, the anonymity of this character. 23 seconds left on the clock, and Casimir needs to catch up to Olsan. Assassin's Dagger block again. Well-placed folks here. Going back and forth. No one really doing any damage. Huh. About 12 seconds left. What's going to happen? Big decisions have to be made. Oh my gosh. Olsan! Oh, 
the call out with the down forward two. He's going to be able to get the advantage. Time is on his side and he's unable to do it. Not uh, enough time. It is again dangerous territory right here for Olsan, ladies and gentlemen. Kasimir in potential set point and could send Olsan home. Oh, tried to go for a power crush. Here we go, Olsan now needs to be very careful again. Got swept by Kasimir. He needs to get the wall here. This is going to be scary. How is he going to deal with it? The mix up goes to the mid. Here comes Olsan. Olsan does have rage though. Crazy contesting here, ladies and gentlemen, from Kasim Mir. Does not care if Olsan is in rage. He knows he has a life lead. Oh my gosh, what a whiff! Hell oh. sweeps. Olsan slightly catching up, and what a block from Kasim Mir. He sends Olsan home. Gotta give it up for Olsan. Olsan getting seventh place in this tournament. The first elimination thus far, ladies and gentlemen, is KDF Olsan. Gotta give it up, Olsan. Olsan back from his military service, back into Tekken. Again, you guys gotta give him a round of applause. Give it up for Olsan from Korea. But we will see Kasimir later on in the loser's bracket. Again, Pakistan with the approval. Man, this guy must get paid to do that every single time. <laughs> That's crazy. He's on point. He's, he he's ready with that. You know, when you, when you catch him around the venue, he doesn't have that flag. He's probably in his